Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing about the topic anatomy and physiology of the integumentary system. The system uh, here I have made this PPT exclusively for the candidates who are preparing for their interview. So in this video we have I have added only easy points so that you can easily recollect as well as remember at the time of the interview. So we should start with the definition whenever they are starting asking you to explain about the system. Integumentary system consists of skin, hair, nails and glands. It is the largest organ system in the human body covering the entire surface. The function includes production, sensation, temperature regulation and vitamin D synthesis next we should start with the layers of the skin the skin has three main layers epidermis dermis subcutaneous epidermis is outermost layer provides a waterproof barrier and creates skin tone dermis is a middle layer contains tough connective tissue hair follicles and sweat glands subcutaneous is otherwise hypodermis deepest layer made of lot of fat and connective tissue providing insulation and cushioning you can see the image of those three layers so we, now we will discuss about the epidermis the outermost layer it is made up of five sub layers that is stratum corneum it is outer layer uh, having dead cells that are shed regularly next is stratum lucidum found in the thick skin that is palm and soles third is stratum granulosum cell starts flatten and die Fourth is stratum spinosum provides strength and flexibility. Final one stratum basal deepest layer responsible for cell regeneration. Next comes dermis. Dermis contain collagen and elastin fibers for strength and elasticity. Houses blood vessels, nerves, hair follicles and sweat glands. We can divide it into two layers. Dermis into two layers that is papillary layer and reticular layer. Papillary layer is thin layer with ridges for fingerprints whereas reticular layer is a thick layer providing structure and supports. Next comes the glands. Glands are found throughout your skin. They release materials like water, salt or oil from under your skin to the surface of your skin. Integumentary system consists of following glands that is pseudophorous gland. The glands that secrete sweat through our skin. There are two types of sweat glands, eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine is present all over the body whereas apocrine is open into your hair follicles. Accessory structures is first one is hair, um, hair and nails. Okay, so we'll discuss about hair. Hair is consisting of hair follicle, the root of the hair that extends into the dermis. Hair shaft, the visible part of the hair above the skin. Hair root located in the dermis. Uh, sebaceous gland produces oil sebum and erector pili, small muscles that cause hair to stand. That is goosebumps. Next is function of hair. The function of hair mainly it provides protection for the eyes by eyelashes and eyebrows and then regulates the body temperature and act as a sensory organ. So these things is enough when you are talking about your hair and then uh, we should say about the nails. So we'll start with nail anatomy. For nail, we have nail plate, the hard visible part of the nail. Next is nail beds, skin beneath the nail plate, lunula, the white half moon shape at the base of the nail, cuticle, eponychium protects the area between the skin and the nail. Next is matrix, the part of the nail beneath the cuticle where growth occurs. So that's all about nail anatomy. Next, uh, prefix, suffix and root words. So we'll see the functions of the nail also. It mainly protect, uh, protect, gives protection for our fingerprints and toes. Enhances sensation by providing a counter force when the fingertip touches an object. And finally assist in grasping the object. Functions of the integumentary system. The main function is protection it protect against pathogens uv radiations and mechanical injury next uh, function is sensation nerves ending detect touch temperature and pain thermoregulation sweat production and blood vessel dilation constriction vitamin d synthesis exposure to sunlight trigger protection so that's all about integumentary system anatomy if you write and keep all these points and if you study it will be easier for you to recollect about the system and answer at the time of your interview already the prefix part suffix root words abbreviations of integumentary system are added i'll add the i card here so that you can go through that also so it will help you during that assessment thank you so much